Ne 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 Batman! Danny, come in. Greetings and welcome to Ask the Mizzou Playboy with the glasses. What made Adam West a really good Batman? That's a very good question. And the answer is the fact that he was able to dress up as the actual Batman and be his cool self. Now, I will admit he wasn't the greatest of Batmans. Michael Keaton and Kevin Conroy can vouch for that. But he wasn't the worst Batman. George Clooney can vouch for that. No, he was kind of in the line of George Clooney where... Batman-wise, he wasn't really dark and sinister, but what really made him legit was the fact that he was perfect as Bruce Wayne. Just not much for Batman. But, I give him a pass. He did alright, and for his time, it was a good Batman. Certainly better than George Clooney. Wick guacamole! Yes. Will Adam West always be remembered as Batman? Fortunately, no. Because he played other roles that are going to make him rememberable. Like, oh, I don't know. He played himself. Well, the mayoral version of himself on Family Guy. And that's going to be the only other role he'll be remembered for. Now, for those who watch the Fairly Out Parrot, you will remember him as Catman. Which was basically their version of Batman. And, quite frankly, Batman's all he's remembered for. So you won't remember that much of him. So it will be Mayor Adam West and Batman. And that's it. Sorry, Adam West, but that's all you're known for. Quick, guacamole! Yes. Where would you rank Adam West as far as best Batman? I would rank him up on top of George Clooney, and that's it. Because he's nowhere near close to Michael Keaton or Kevin Conroy or Christian Bale. Here's how I'd rank him. So, up at the top... You could toss it up between Michael Keane and Kevin Conroy. I think they're both legit. A notch below them would be Christian Bale. A notch below them would be Ben Affleck. Actually, scratch that. A notch before Christian Bale would be... Oh, crap. Who did the Lego Batman? Um, why are you asking me, MMA? Because you did the review of the Lego Batman movie and you know this person, so who is it? Clueless. Yeah, we all know that. I would rank Lego Batman, whoever the hell did the voice of him on uh, below Christian Bale. Then I would put Ben Affleck. Then Ash below him is Val Kilmer. Then Adam West. And then George Clooney. Enough said. Sorry, Adam West. There's just way too many good Batmans. And your time came and went. I hope he's not kicking himself in the grave. Literally. Uh, let's proceed. Will Family Guy continue without Adam West? Ah, oh, they won't because they've gotten stale already as it is, and quite frankly, they haven't been good for the last decade. So losing Adam West doesn't really affect them that much because they're already going down the tube anyways. So little to no impact. What you tell you something? Adam West was legit as Mayor Adam West. No, he wasn't. Are you questioning the greatness that is Adam West? You just said he wasn't the best band band, so what makes him so fucking great? Oh, shut up, Commander Loser. You don't even know what the hell you're talking about. As usual. Oh, really? Really? Oh, really? Really? Oh, really? Really? You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Oh, fine. By the way, how's that Barney review working for you? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Family Guy won't be changed as much. They're going to go down the tube anyway, so... It's just a lost cause. Next question! What kind of tribute would you give to Adam West? Oh, let's see. I would have an all-day Batman marathon on TV Land. Why? Because TV Land is perfect for Batman. But TV Land isn't as great as it once was. Will you stop interrupting me, Commander Loser? Stop calling me that! Okay, that does it. Nobody likes an interrupting critic. Dang this! <laughs> Idiot. So, TV Land. Now, 
I would have a looping 24-hour marathon. No, wait. Let's not do 24-hour marathon. Let's do a loop of every single Batman, Adam West version, episode that ever existed. Throw that in a loop, and then at the end, we will have a wonderful tribute by all the living people who remember Adam West. And was Batman. So, Michael Keaton, Kevin Conroy, and all the rest. And they would be able to pay their tributes to Michael Keaton. Now, as far as my tribute to Michael Keaton, well, Michael Keaton's awesome. But, as far as Adam West's tribute goes, well... Here's what I would say. Adam West, I know you weren't the best Batman in the world. Quite frankly, there were a bazillion other people who were way better than you, including me. Why? Because I'm Batman! But you will be dearly missed because you made a lasting impact on the Dark Knight. Even though he wasn't much of a Dark Knight during your time. You will also be remembered for a wonderful role as Mayor Adam West. And by golly, did you make Family Guy awesomer. Even though they're not really that great nowadays. You are one of the remaining good things to have happened to Family Guy over these dark, depressing years that they have devoured into. And for that, you will be truly missed. Because you were a magnificent actor. And by golly, are you going to be treasured forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. With guacamole. Rest in peace, Adam West. And that would be my tribute to Adam West. Any questions? Yeah! Where's the fucking funeral? Could you excuse me for a moment? I have to take care of a potty mouth. Hey, potty mouth! <laughs> That'll teach you to mock Adam West. Screw you, Commander Loser! I hope you didn't listen to that, Adam West. I miss you! Wait, guacamole! Yes! believe there will be an Adam West movie? If so, who do you believe should play Adam West? George Clooney! Why not? The only other Batman who sucks! It's perfect for him! Plus he's suave and sophisticated like him, and by golly, like him, he did a much better job as Bruce Wayne than Batman. So he's like the perfect role for him. And I would make this like a biography type movie, depicting his Long and everlasting life. It wasn't everlasting. What are you teaching this from the Bible? Okay, could you excuse me for just one more moment? You stupid interrupter! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Willie. Next time Commander Loser interrupts, feel free to knock him silly. Who came in there? Thank you. What was the question again? Do you believe there will be an Adam West movie? If so, who do you believe should play Adam West? I already answered that question, you fucking idiot! It's George fucking Clooney! It makes perfect sense! Now let's move on! Do you believe Chandler Lostrum should do a tribute to Adam West? Well, of course they should! Just like they should do a tribute to Mr. Rogers! Hence, they should do a tribute to Adam West! Besides, they've already done Roger Ebert, you might as well do Adam West! Adam West is as legit as Roger Ebert when it comes to cinematography! Duh. But you know they're not going to do that because they don't have time for that. So, here's what they should be doing instead. Let me be on your channel, let me be on your channel, let me be on your channel! Would you put Adam West in your Mount Rushmore of actors? Absolutely, maybe. Well, let's see. Who would I put? Let's see. I would put Daniel Day-Lewis and then Michael Keaton and then... Well, I don't give a fuck. So let's put Adam West in there. And let's just proceed. See, Adam West, you're fucking happy. Next question. What will be the lasting impact of Adam West? I would say the lasting impact is that he had a terrific era as Batman for that time. Comparing it to other eras, not so much. But he did good for what it was worth as Batman and as Adam West. Mayor. Adam West. And that will be the lasting impact with Mr. Adam West. So, yeah. Hey, Commander Loser, final thoughts. Adam West will never be cherished as long as I shall live. Really? Because you said that about Donald Trump and guess how that unfolded. <laughs> and
and Barney fucking rocks! Woo! This is that Mizzou Playboy with the glasses saying, there's no such thing as a dumb question because it pays tribute to Adam West. Rest in pieces, you're not a dumbass.